hello welcome back to another video today we are going to be revisiting a project i started a couple months ago i actually recorded this way back when i first got this computer but i decided why not actually be able to make this video now that i'm returning to nerdy stuff so today we are going to be looking at the chromebook that i last looked at the acer c740 this little guy is a very nice little computer and is very lovely. I love using it. It is a low-end system, but it's a very, very nice system. But let's get into the video. Take it away. Alright, we are now opening up the Chromebook, and first thing we got to do is to take out the right protect screw. This screw makes it so the BIOS slash firmware on the Chromebook cannot be modified very easily. So if you're trying to do anything with the BIOS or changing the BIOS, you have to take out this screw. However, you might be wondering, well, what modifications are we doing? Well, we are going to be using Mr. Chromebox's custom open core BIOS. Basically, this BIOS is a UEFI replacement BIOS to the standard Chromebook BIOS. Yes, you don't necessarily have to use this. You can technically do another method of being able to install firmware onto this, but with this method, it is up to date. It is a seamless experience and you don't really have to worry too much about issues or anything like that. It is very easy to be able to simply install an OS on it. It's very simple to be able to do this or to do that. It is a very snappy BIOS and it's very nice. So that's why I decided to use this method. Yeah, it, it's kind of neat. Custom BIOS on a Chromebook, basically making it be able to run custom OSs when uh, it, this thing shouldn't be able to do that. So yeah. As this is, isn't a tutorial, I won't be going into extreme detail on what steps I had to take or like what key combinations or what this or what that. But if you are interested in this process and want to learn more, I will put in the description a link to Mr. Chromebox's uh, website where you can learn more about this. This is a very technical and a very complex process, but it's also very fairly simple and you learn quite a bit about how computers work, uh, computer science, and how just a lot of different things. So if you are interested in that, you could go down into the description, but I will kind of explain certain details as I go on. One of the first things you have to do is actually boot into recovery mode and then in recovery mode you have to uh, disable OS verification and then turn on developer mode which basically makes it so that way you can open a terminal in base Chrome OS. It is a very interesting way of doing this but you have to kind of do this in order to use the script that comes with it and with the developer mode enabled it will have to reinstall Chrome OS. You will need to wait some time in order to do that.
However, one thing, little thing about this, though, that is a little bit wonky is if you do decide to do the other method and want to keep the original OS and be able to have other OSs, it will show up that OS verification is turned off every time you boot up. So it will like yell at you basically. I think there is a way to disable that if I'm not mistaken, but I cannot remember exactly how to do that. However, once you are back booted up, you will be able to use a keyboard combination, which will be shown on screen here, of how to open up the terminal. Once I was able to do that, I typed in the username for being able to use uh, the console, which is just cron os then use sudo bash essentially this is very linux coded like the terminal you're going to be using similar commands to say ubuntu and stuff not exactly the same commands but similar and then we are going to be installing the script however this is when i have issues As you can tell, right here, I added an S, which is not correct. <laughs> As I have said in previous videos, this is a channel for me to show my experiences. I will make mistakes straight up, will make mistakes, and this is one of them. But I will show you that I, I am prone to making mistakes, and that's okay. This script does not exist. Utils is not the script, it's util. However, I was able to actually get the script onto a USB stick, which was my second fault. I will explain that in a second, but I was able to get it started. I was able to get the tool all sorted and was able to actually start it. Just a warning, if you ever do this, there's a giant chance that you might brick your Chromebook. I got this Chromebook for fairly cheap, so even if it brick and I wasn't going to uh, be too upset, but there is ways to fix the brick, which are fairly inexpensive, depending on your area of the world, it might be a little bit easier or harder to get, but there's the script you go through, you uh, also have the option to back up the original BIOS, which I strongly recommend, and I, I did as well, I have it saved, so just in case, if I ever want to go back to the original Chrome OS, I can, but I also have the original drive backed up as well. But here's where I made mis my mistake. When backing up, it asked me to put in a USB. It will put it to the USB and then it asks you to unplug it. Well, I had a USB in it. Thought, oh, I'm using the USB. Let's just put it on that one. That convenient. Well, afterwards, I unplugged it and there it went the script. The script was loaded into memory, but due to it being removed, I believe that was my second mistake. So... What happened with my mistakes that I had made? Well, unfortunately, I started up the Chromebook and nothing happened. 
there's always a possibility when you're mod modding something or when you're doing something, there's always a risk of breaking a device. There's sometimes ways to fix it. There's sometimes no way to fix it. However, fortunately enough, I was able to get it a little device and was able to fix it. So, and basically, I had to flash the BIOS chip itself through this device. Super simple, super easy to use. It's just plug it into another computer, which unfortunately, if this is your only computer, you might have to ask someone else to get a computer just temporarily or something like that. But this was fairly easy. Uh, you could do this probably on Windows. There's probably Windows drivers. I did it on Linux. You could probably do it on Mac OS as well. But I essentially plugged it in. I did have have a little bit of issues. I was a little confused by the command, but I was, wasn't was typing it in correctly again. It seems like a common fault of this project. It was like a curse. Like I could not type in the commands correctly. Usually I'm a lot better at this, but apparently not this time. But I was able to type it in correctly and was able to put the BIOS ROM onto it. I also verified that the BIOS did work and it did write correctly. It wasn't messed up or anything. It's just a good idea. Even though the original command does verify, but just verifying again is always a good idea. So I did that and it seemed to work. And well, I pressed the power button. I waited a couple seconds like it said to do and it booted. I was so unbelievably happy when I saw that little rabbit show up. I was very, very happy and I was so proud of myself when I was able to get it to all work. Chromebooks have a lifespan of about, I believe it's uh, five years. So as soon as five years is up, Google will either continue updating it, but after that point, they could stop at any point. They would give you five years and then that is it. This device got stopped getting updates in 2021. It, it is out of date and everything, but that doesn't mean it's a, it, it's a bad device. It, the hardware is still very good and can still be usable, especially for just low end stuff, like a just basic browsing. It's pretty nice. Nevertheless, we did explore the BIOS. Very simple BIOS. There isn't much in there, which is fine, but it gets the job done. It, it boots the computer and it does have a couple options and it does allow you to turn on like TPM or turn off TPM if it allows you to turn on and off secure boot and stuff like that. I want to do a, one more little modification to this Chromebook. I am going to upgrade the SATA drive on this. I am upgrading it to 128 gigabytes SATA M.2. It isn't technically NVMe, it is SATA. It is a very weird chip. It's not very common, but I just decided to upgrade it because 16 gigabytes is not enough. <laughs> it was one of the biggest hurdles of trying to do anything with this and it worked. Some little facts about this computer. Um, The battery is actually um, not bad percentage. I believe when you like first got it all set up, it was at 90 percent ish. I think it was a little higher than 90 percent, but my memory fails me right now. This only has four gigabytes of RAM, which you can see right here. It's definitely not perfect. It's definitely a low end machine. There is some other like Chromebooks or like, I think they're called like Chromeboxes. It's basically like a Raspberry Pi. If you need like a low end device and want it like say like a, like a Raspberry Pi type device and want to do something simple and it needs to be x86, you can go for one of these older Chromebooks and it should be able to run decent, decently. It's not going to be ARM or it's not going to be like a Raspberry Pi, but Still, it, it, it could run like a mini server if you want. They're kind of cool. I just like these types of devices. However, let's get the screws back into this Chromebook here and get it back together. I 
love this little Chromebook so much and I am so proud of myself that I was able to get this actually to work even through the failures and the hardships and stuff like that. It wasn't exactly easy but it was fun. But nevertheless, thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this more nerdy video. I'm so, so, so happy to be back and so happy to be editing in this type of way again. Thank you all so much for sticking around. I know with everything changing here, it's going to be different, but I'm so grateful that you all are sticking around and enjoy watching these nerdier videos. As you can tell, I'm also using my model again i can move my head look at me go Woo! <laughs> nevertheless thank you all so much for watching i hope you all do have a great and wonderful rest of your day if you do want to support this channel you can head over to my patreon nevertheless so thank you all so much for watching i hope to see you all in, in the next video thank you thank you thank you and i will see you all later bye 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 <laughs>